If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Welcome back guys, welcome back everyone to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are now moving on to a Mega Raid deck, which I saw posted on a font. I don't exactly remember who posted it, but huge props to them. I believe they got like a decent result on a leak of and I saw this and I thought it looked pretty solid. So I figured featuring it on stream was a good idea. Um, the triple acceleration energy is what makes Mega Ray actually a potential um, or it makes it potentially better than it used to be because you can use the attack Emerald Break dealing 30 damage times the number of your benched Pokemon so a really cool um, attack kind of like Zorg you can deal up to 240 damage if you have eight benched Pokemon. Of course, Pseudo Wudo is a problem. However, um, with the help of Alolan Mock, we are going to stop opposing Pseudo Wudo from actually wrecking us by disabling their ability. Now, we did, we do have the Rayquaza Spirit Link so that we can Mega Evolve immediately without losing our turn. But we also have Magyarna's Change Clothes, which allows us to put back the um the spirit link and attach a choice band in case we need to hit for 270 damage with our um emerald break attack allowing us to one kill the 270 hp tactics now the engine relies on hoopa finding shamans and um our rayquaza pieces drawing a lot of cards thinning um utilizing execute to keep coming to keep the pokemon coming back we have four skyfield to make sure that we have eight bench spots we have ultra bolts and treasures to find the hoopas the leleys and our mock as well along with the marshadow so it's a very offensive deck we don't have any sycamore the pieces are too valuable to lose although we do play one of the dene and we do play karen as a potential counter to Mewview, but also as a potential counter to the night march decks such as the one we faced just now so let's jump into the ladder and see if we can get a little better results with this than the fossils deck um and remember is these aren't fossils we've already played the fossils deck so um for the last hour so you arrived a little late for that but you will be able to see the replay of the video tomorrow on the channel so we get to go first that's awesome and read the reckless you didn't play during the mega pokemon expansions how does mega evolving work so mega evolving oh what a terrible hand mega evolving is just like evolving except you lose um like when you mega evolve your turn ends right unless you're the pokemon you are mega evolving has a spirit link attached such as the right was a spirit link then that allows you to uh i guess it's that it changed time <laughs> um that allows you to um that allows you to mega evolve without losing your turn so you have that small drawback of having to find <laughs> of having to find your um of having to find your spirit link and attach it to the pokemon you want to mega evolve before you actually get to mega evolve all right so this is looking a little bit better now. We are going to do this. We'll get two of these guys and one of this. And then the ideal thing we want to bench is actually the Grimer. And I guess because of this situation, we would like to have um, the Psychic type Grimer rather than the Dark type. 
Uh, not the best hand, that's for sure. However, we can battle compressor away. The Colrus and the Karen. I don't think that's gonna be super necessary. And we can Colrus still this turn, which is great. Don't think I'll be needing Koopa either, so I'll just thin that guy. And then let's go for a Colrus here. All right. So you're about to see it red. Um, if I get the spirit link, I do get the spirit link. However, <laughs> however, I do not get a mega rain. So I'm gonna attach them, and I feel like I should just play the. Wow, this is terrible. Well, it depends on what my opponent has, right? I will definitely play this for the colorless the issues. That execute now is gonna be stuck in the active because it's not even KO'd by the Seismi Toad. All right, so we get Quaking Punch, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. We didn't get to Mega Volt. Of the let loose, my opponent finds an Ultra Volt, so he will be able to establish um, Lele, probably for Sycamore or Detene into a fresh new hand. Does discard the Muck. Meaning he wants to find pseudo wood, of course. What? <laughs> wow, that's so bad. Why would you ever ultra over execute instead of just another Zorua? That is such a greedy play by my opponent. Such a greedy play. Okay. I honestly wouldn't mind him replacing this stadium right here. That's gonna be for pseudo Wudo, 100%. That's gonna be for pseudo Wudo. No, not pseudo Wudo, okay. So my opponent playing this very weirdly. I really hope he finds the stadium. I really, 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 really hope he finds the beer bank stadium so that my execute goes down. That would be fantastic. Does find the DTE, will Quaking Punch, and that means I'm going down in between turns. Just perfect. Just perfect. All right, so I'm going to call rest for a bunch of cards. What I'm looking for is a Grimer, but which is now much more difficult to find. <laughs> really? Wow. Not a single playable card. Okay, to say we are in trouble would be the understatement of the year. Um, I mean, at least we have Lele, I guess. We Lele for the other Colrus. <sighs> nice timing by my opponent. We Lele for the other Colrus and hope to find Mega Ray plus Triple Acceleration Energy. That's the dream. That's the dream. We have three Triple Acceleration Energy left. We need each of them to get us two prize cards. Otherwise, we are not winning here. Unless my opponent somehow whiffs the item lock at some point. Okay, so there's the Lele. For an N, not great. Not great. Yeah, the, the Quaking Punch is just too strong. All right. Well, that certainly helps. I think I'm gonna bench the Lele just so I can draw more cards. I'm gonna bench the Lele just so I can draw more cards off the Skyfield and the two executes. I mean, not off of the Skyfield, off of the Colors. No sort of Udo is really surprising. But I guess that deck doesn't run it. All right, there we go. Okay, so look, the the rule says uh, the Mega Evolution rule. When one of your Pokemon becomes a Mega Evolution Pokemon, your turn ends. But the Spirit Link says the Spirit Link says your turn does not end if the Pokemon this card is attached to becomes Mega Rayquaza EX. All right, so we get to Mega Evolve. Our turn does not finish. We get to play that. And then we get to Propagation. 
twice, in fact. We get to propagation twice. We bench both of them, and then we're gonna draw 13 cards of this colorist. 13. Um, I'll get the Isarola, sure. I have two triples, and my special charge is prized. So that is really, really bad news. I need one of my two triple acceleration energy right here. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> Stay positive, right? Yay, Quaking Punch. Yay, this game is fun. Ah, oh well. Peel Blower. Um, should get rid of this Brit Link. Yep, and my Stadium. So goodbye, Execute. Goodbye, Execute. Goodbye, Marshadow. Sure. So now, not only do I need to top deck the Skyfield, but I also need to top deck the Energy. I mean, the good thing is my opponent. Eight hit KOs me, but then there's um, hypnotoxic laser to to consider, etc., etc., etc. It's just silly. Can't seem to catch a break today. Can't seem to catch a break today. Oh well. Burbank City, Via Seeker, an N, yep, an N. We are also down two stadiums, which is really bad. We need each stadium to get me a KO. Yeah, I don't know if my opponent quaking, but there's no way I'm going to win this, so let's just find a better game. Let's just find a better game. I mean, if I had gotten a knockout, I wouldn't have been in a much better position anyways, right? I would not have been in a much better position anyways, but... Why did I open that? Okay, let's just find another match here. Let's just find another match. Let's just find another match right here. All right. <laughs> yep, that that would sum it up pretty nicely. That would sum it up pretty nicely. And this beautiful hand. I mean, it's not a terrible hand, honestly. It's not a terrible hand, thanks to the treasure. And we are up against Greninja. We are up against Greninja. Alright, underwhelming-ish turn for my opponent, though not really. So we're gonna treasure for the Hoopa. And then I'll go ahead and Hoopa for double ray plus shaman. Right? I think that makes sense. And then I'll go ahead and bench. Bench. Don't need the choice band, so I'll attach the choice band over here. Definitely play this. And then, yeah, I'm gonna treasure away the Acer Olam. For the Let Loose Marshadow, or I could fail it. I feel like I'm gonna keep the Let Loose Marshadow. Because that might be useful against my opponent. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up for four. And. The very awkward hand. Sure. Definitely discarding the Karen and I think the Via Seeker for yet another Shaman, I think. 
Well, there's an argument for the Dene, honestly. There is an argument for the Dene. My Flowstone is prized, but I can still Guzma to get a turn 1 KO. Uh, sure, I'll the Dene. So goodbye, let lose my shadow. I think it's fine. Goodbye, Mega Ray. I think that's also fine. I have two others. All right, so I'm going to, well, I only have one more. I'll discard the mock, I'll discard the compressor. I have three VS Seekers left. I think I'm gonna discard the Guzma. I won't get an attack of this turn, right, if I do this. But I have to otherwise, like I need to call this. I need to call this, so I'll bench this. I'll bench the egg because why not? And we'll go ahead and do this. All right. So what I'm going to do then is, so you're about to see, once I Mega Evolve into Mega Ray, my turn will in fact end. See, without clicking on done, my turn ends. All right. All right. So we see the frigate here. Not much else happening for my opponent apparently. Well, there's an Ultra Ball. Ooh, discarding Sycamore and Faba. Interesting. There's a Star You. And then we get End. As expected, I guess. As expected. Another Frogadier, another Froggy, so very nice. All right, but well, we do get to KO a Frogadier right here. We do get to KO a Frogadier thanks to this Via Seeker into Guzma. The issue is afterwards, we literally don't have anything to do. And that is a problem. No room on this deck for links? Yeah, I do have spirit links. There they are. Flowstone. Poor timing on the flowstone. I did have spirit links. I just didn't find them the turn before. But I do have them. I do indeed have them. Alright, now we get Sin now my opponent uses Cynthia instead of N. We would have loved an N here for sure. There's the dive ball. I would imagine shadow stitching. What's that is Ray, Mega Ray from, they are from, I have no clue, Breakpoint maybe? Breakthrough, Breakpoint perhaps? I'm honestly not 100% sure. Okay, so my opponent decides to Moonlight Slash. Oof, what a top deck. What a top deck. Okay, so I'm gonna change clothes. Get this back. And I guess I can attach it here. And then I'll Flowstone this guy. 
and then I will dowsing machine these two for a Colrus. Granger is better than Sora Seismitoad and Expanded? Uh, potentially? Potentially. Alright, so let's do this. And then I kind of like doing this. And my rescue stretcher is in there. And then we'll go Emerald Break for the KO. Now, even with a Shadow Stitching, I mean, even with a... I forgot the ability of Greninja. Even with the ability, that's 60, 140 plus 80. Oh, that's 220 exactly. Whoops. All right. Roaring Skies. There you go. Roaring Sky. No Dragon IDX for standard recovery? Not really, because... I mean, you just play four Shaman, right? I think that's fine. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get end here. Yep. I don't think you need Dragon IDX. Yeah, Roaring Skies, Roaring Skies. You guys are correct. Roaring Skies indeed. Um, so, I mean, Greninja definitely has room, always has room essentially in Expanded, but it's also not I feel like the HPs are getting too high for Greninja to cope with. I think that's my overall feeling for the deck. Okay, so we get Moonlight Slashed for 60. So we have another knockout. Okay, I definitely want to get my Mega Ray back. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna get back the Mega Ray. We are going to Trainer's Mail. Four special charge, that's really solid. The fact that I got this was also very, very clutch, right? And then we will go ahead and... Oh, I guess I could have attacked with this guy to not give up the two prizes, but it's fine. I don't mind, like, if my opponent gets greedy and knocks me out to get two prizes, then I get to draw extra cards or find a supporter. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. I do have one cold risk left in the deck, I think. I think. Okay, we're gonna get end again, as expected. I do have shamans for recovery. We're definitely getting knocked out, right? That's for sure. That's for sure. We've used up our dowsing machine and our rescue stretcher, so we need this ray to get all the prizes. And there we go, right? That is certainly a good prize. I mean, that is certainly a good card, rather. And Paul McGann, I can share the lists, of course, um, after we are done playing with uh, playing with the deck. I'm happy to share the list. <laughs> yeah, Granger was really good at, at the time it came out. It was definitely really, really good. Okay, to my opponent, not... Not... Taking away the sky field. Well, there you go. All right. So, what's the last card in his hand? Shadow stitching. All right. So that is certainly annoying. That was <laughs> insane. Now I'm getting very lucky. Yeah, it's important to admit when you are the one that's getting insanely, insanely lucky. That was a broken top deck. And I'm the one that's getting very lucky right now. It seems like it's about to stop though. Unless my opponent chooses not to shadow stitch me free. The KO, which I would imagine he is, right? 
Um, maybe Greensard. Greensard is pretty solid. I think Greensard with four power plants and four, um, four power plants and four reset stamp is extremely powerful. As long as there is no Malamar, right? If there is no Malamar, then that's a really good play. If there is, then you're in a little bit of trouble. And you are in a little bit of trouble. Oh, but my opponent decides to retreat, however. He did have the stadium immediately. That's crazy. He just drew like all the stadiums at once. But I also top deck pretty nicely. So there we see the dive ball. How many stadiums am I down? Only two, right? Oh no, I am down three stadiums so far. So I have one stadium left. But you can see Greninja and its natural habitat, which is uh, dead drawing. <laughs> you can see Greninja and its natural habitat, which is dead drawing. And see, even my opponent, we're both dead drawing, kind of double Greninja break. That's scary. That is very scary. All right. So, VS Seeker it is. VS Seeker for Colrus. Am I going to get decked out? I would hope not, right? I would hope not. I'm not gonna use the Ultra Ball. Okay, so I do get the triple. That's huge, right? That is huge. Am I going to get end again? No more star me for my opponent, no energies for him. That's really sad. If he had any basic energy available, I think he might have won. <laughs> well, it sounds like everyone's uh, run of the mill league cups, right? Okay, so I need my Skyfield to win. I need my Skyfield, so I need to know if it's in the deck. It is in the deck, so as long as I draw my whole deck, I am fine here. So, how do I go about that? I can Field Blower these two so I call risk for six therefore if I ultra wall the mega ray and this guy and I fail that and then I bench this and then I call risk I just need trainer's mail or the sky field to not be bottom two because I did have to uh, no i had one energy left too so my last energy gets me my last price card insane we literally used essentially every card at our disposal every single card at our disposal so obviously this deck struggles when you're up against non-gx decks and i will say that having played the expanded ladder lately it doesn't seem like a lot of people are using tag team decks. It definitely doesn't seem like a lot of people are using tag team decks overall, right? Overall. All right. All right. All right. So I do get to win the coin flip, that's awesome. And this is a pretty solid start. Especially with the Spirit Link on Array, that's a dream. Starting Ray is uncommon for this deck because you do have so many basic Pokemon. Okay, so that's Nisil. Not sure what it indicates. I am going to have to use Marshadow, however, here. So I think benching the Makiarna makes sense. Let loose turn one. I'm sure a lot of people really miss that. I certainly don't. 
<laughs> well, that's a hand. I guess that's a hand. Last copy of Renin, top eight. Uh, <laughs> I was right on Zorak Mail. Oh, yeah, I remember you telling me about that, Iberserk, I think. I remember you telling me about that. Um, okay, so this Ultra Old top deck, very nice. Uh, so Zorak Weavile. Like, I don't want to. Uh, I mean, I'm getting a KO here, which is great. I don't want to get rid of my triples. Right, every triple counts for so much. So, so much. I do have my special charge available, that's good. No triples are priced either, that's also very good. So losing a Skyfield is not ideal, but losing the Bria Seeker, not a big deal. So I'll do this, and then I'll Mega Evolve without losing my turn. I'll attach, and then I'll set up. And then if I get another Mega Ray, I can change clothes, put this back, and attach it here. Which is really awesome. I think I'm just gonna cold rest. I'll keep the trainer snail as a trainer snail for options later on. And all right. So we have guaranteed knockout. I do like the idea of doing this and setting up the other mega ray already. Right? I certainly like that. There was also merit to establishing the Grimer that turn. Just once again, I feel like this deck definitely wants the Psychic type Grimer, not the Dark type Grimer. And choice band here, and then let's set up for even more cards. The guy isn't playing Bridget. I mean, I actually think the more I think about it, like Professor and Lecture makes sense if you're playing Execute because it's much better later on. Like you're, but I mean, yeah, you can't search for Pseudo Wudo, you can't search for Ranguru. Uh, it's weird. It's definitely weird. And then we'll Emerald Break for the KO. Do I want to go overboard with the Detene? I don't think I need to. Now that VS Seeker does mean that I can... Um, I can't call Riz again. So we did a Cherish Wall for Zork. The ability Weavile would have just been immediate knockout though. Right? One, two... Three, four, five. That's a fifty damage, indeed. I guess he had the DC, so he wanted to use them. There's the Weavile, the Evil Admonition Weavile. Something we have to um, potentially play around at some point. So I could Field Blower away this in order to get rid of ability Pokemon, but then I won't have ability myself, so probably not. Why not Dragon Ray to search it with treasure? That's also potentially um, better, right? That is true, David. That is true. The Dragon Ray might actually be better because you can treasure for it. That is 100% right. Playing Judge makes no sense. Why would you play Judge? Judge Whistle, I guess you have extra Via Seekers, but meh, not a great idea. Okay. So probably gonna lose the choice band and the skyfield. No, wait, what? Just the choice band. What? Why wouldn't you remove this? Oh well. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Pokemon in my on my bench. That's two hundred thirty damage exactly. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change clothes. Get back that and put it here. And we're gonna choice band here. Then we're gonna ultra ball away these two for for the execute, I guess. And then I'm just gonna be a seeker chorus for a lot. Misclick. Misclick, maybe, yeah. Maybe he just didn't click or forgot to click. Um, what does Karen do? Karen puts... Um, each player shuffles old Pokemon in his or her discard ball into his or her deck. Yeah. So that's an anti-Mew Mew, anti-Night March, anti-Vespiquen card. 
Or he wants more bench Pokemon for Raichu's beating. I mean, he only had five, so meh. He probably didn't want me discarding Pokemon so that his Weavile can still KO. Um, but I mean, at least remove the Spirit Link, right? I think that's the key part. At least remove the Spirit Link. And then I think I just KO here. I don't see... Well, I can treasure away the Execute. To have access to it later. Maybe I set up the Grimer, actually. Maybe that's what I do. I'll set up the Grimer. Just in case my opponent decides to be fancy and play Sudowoodo, I can immediately, immediately shut it down. And then we'll Emerald Break. Well, not immediately. If he plays Sudowoodo plus N plus KO, ugh, that could be problematic. But we'll see. We know he has a Sycamore in his hand, so he might not end because he decided for whatever reason to bench the Lele preemptively. There's a Weavile, there's a Dark, there's a Sycamore. So we are going down, not the end of the world, like I said. Important to find the Rescue Stretcher, right? In order to be able to close out the game, we do need that third attacker. And it's like, even if he wants the extra bench Pokemon for Raichu's beating, his maximum damage output is 210 with Zorg, and Mega Ray has 220 damage. I mean, 220 HP, so doesn't make much sense, right? Doesn't make much sense. All right, so. All right, definitely attaching here. Definitely gonna do this, and I can get rid of the compressor. Probably the other spirit link, and I guess that's it. And then I'm going to call res. Yeah, let's call res. I want my stretcher. That's the one card I'm looking for. There we go. To make sure I have another attacker set up to close out the game and the special charge is also extremely nice now i can put the two triples that i have used so far back into the deck really increasing my chances of being able to not try to win here so one two three four five pokemon with abilities if i do set up mock i guess he can't return care with weavile so i guess that's what i go for there was the mock I'm down all my Ultra Volts, so I should have checked that before I used the Drainer's Mail. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You're thinking like I'm thinking, I Berserk. I'm going to use Muck to shut off the Weavile. That makes all the sense in the world. So let's go prop. Now I might get judged or end, so maybe I should thin, right, like the field blower, it seems good. Let's grab the muck. Yeah, I basically, I basically want my deck to be via seekers and triples, that's all I want. And with the muck, I'm no longer afraid of Weavile, right? I am certainly no longer afraid of the Weavile. So I'm happy with this, I'm happy with this. If I get end down to two, it's fine. It is fine. Assuming my opponent is also playing Skyfield, right? We haven't seen any sort of stadium. And then, yeah, my opponent immediately promotes Weavile, so he doesn't know that Mog shuts off my abilities. Therefore, Evil Admonition will not KO me. Now, if I hadn't played the Mog, I would win. Anyways, because I would just top deck whatever, and then if it's not a triple, I would go Guzma into a GX, and then it change into a triple. Now, we do get judged as expected. We find VS Seeker and triple, so that's going to be the game. That should be the game. That should be the game.
Yep. Only 50 damage. Only Mox ability is active. We have the Kuzma, we have the triple, and that will be GG. Pull Magana, yes, Mega Ray, you can evolve it right away. That is correct. The issue is because it's a Mega Pokemon, your turn ends, right? Unless, unless you have the Spirit Link. So actually at the beginning of that game, since I had the Spirit Link, I was able to Mega Evolve immediately. So that is correct. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, so the Mega Ray deck honestly worked decent. I would have loved to face off against a tag team deck, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Like I said, it, it's not super common for tag team decks to show up in the expanded ladder as of late, which is pretty pretty interesting, right? Pretty not what I would expect in terms of going into a new meta when three when the latest three sets have featured so many very powerful tag teams. But anyways, that will be all for me today. Yeah, that will be all for me today. Someone wanted to see the list so I can showcase it right here again. If I remember, I'll put it in the description down below. If I forget, just put a comment, remind me, and I'll put it very easy to do. This is the list that I just played. I would definitely switch this for a Psychic type Grimer and maybe the um, Colorless Race for um, Dragon type Race since like before Intensifying Burn was potentially a decent attack. Now there's no EXs you can attack with so or you can attack to and you don't even have any energy to power up. So you might as well just um, play the Dragon Great Quasi EX and the Psychic Alolan Grimer so that you can treasure for them much easier. So, um, so what is Good Mahala going to replace? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's going to replace anything. It's just going to be included into decks like Mew Mew. Um, in this deck, it could be really nice. You could get the Spirit Link, the um, Skyfield, and the Triple, right? Which is pretty cool. Um, in expanded any DC deck can probably make use of Kuzma Hala. Direct search for DC is always nice, rather than hoping to draw off to draw it off of Sycamores or trades. I don't know. Kuzma Hala seems like one of the best supporters from the new set. But that will be all for me. Thanks so much for watching. If you're live watching on YouTube, um, thanks so much for hanging out today. If you are watching later on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel. Don't forget to support our sponsors of the channel as well. Don't forget to support the sponsors of the channel as well. Um, doesn't seem to be rotating anymore. I don't know why. There we go. So yeah, that will be all. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys. Catch you beautiful people. Maybe tomorrow. Um, I do have some things. I have a doctor's appointment um, tomorrow. I think I, <laughs> I might have a broken toe. I'm not sure yet. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. It hurts a lot, but um other than that uh yeah i think i'll have time to stream tomorrow so i'll see you tomorrow on the stream thank you so much for watching and until next time bye bye